So with all of the conflicting policies coming from different levels of the organizational unit structure and the domain and the sites and the local services and with or the local computers and with filtering and conflicting settings at all these different levels, trying to unravel which policies are actually applied to a particular user can get a little bit chaotic. But that's where the group policy modeling and results wizard come in. Now the group policy modeling wizard allows you to simulate what would happen if a user or a user in a specific OU connected to a specific computer or a computer in a specific OU. And the modeling wizard puts all of that together and says, all right, this is what the resultant policies would be. The group policy results is similar, except that it is based on actual devices. So with the group policy results, you can run the group policy results wizard by right-clicking on group policy results, click next, and then we would select the computer that we want to display settings for, either this one or another one, and then we would display the user that's currently logged into that. So either the current user or another user that's currently logged in, but we can't you know, just hypothetically grab one. The alternative is to not display user settings at all, just show me the results for the computer. And then next, next, and this will show us what our group policy settings currently are. Now the way this is broken down, we have the summary, we have over here options to show or hide the details. So for the computer details, this is a general information about the computer. Then we have the component status. Let's go ahead and hide that. And then here are our settings. So we have policies, windows settings, security settings. If I click on show, that will show all of the areas of settings that are applied to this uh, particular connection under the computer details. So after all of the settings, we'll also see which GPOs were applied. So which ones were applied, which ones were denied. And in this case, the default domain controllers policy and the default domain policy were applied. The local group policy was denied. And then after we've gone through all of the computer settings, we have the same thing, or the computer details, we have the same thing for user details. General information, component status, settings, there were no settings applied, group policy objects, we had nothing that was applied to our user details because our group, our, our domain, uh, default domain policy and default domain controllers policy only have settings for the computers. And then WMI filters. And this gives a complete breakdown of what we actually have. Now the modeling wizard allows us to run what if scenarios. So this is what this would look like. Let's right click. Oh, by the way, I just want to show you real quick. You see that this stays so we can come back and reference it later. If we ever want to rerun it after making changes, we can right click and rerun the query. If we're done with it, we can click delete and make it go away. So group policy modeling lets me play with the what if scenario. So I'm gonna right click on group policy modeling and run the wizard. And then let's say any domain controller or I can set specific domain controllers. Uh, we can choose the user from a specific container or we can choose a specific user. So I'm going to choose a specific user and I want to find Danny Kincannon. And I hit OK. So what if Danny Kincannon and logs into and then we can do the same thing here for a computer. I can choose a specific computer or a computer inside a specific container. In this case, let's choose a specific container. And let's say the computer is just in the default computer section. Now, at this point, I have this option here, skip to the final page of this wizard without collecting additional data. And frequently, I mean, that's here because frequently that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and walk through those other pages. So I can choose whether we're doing loopback processing, whether we're doing a slow network connection, if this is in a specific site. Uh, I can set the user location. So what happens if the user was in a different uh, OU? Um, I can set specific security groups. What if I took this user and added them to this group instead of another group? That would in, uh, activate or may activate uh, GPO filtering. So it really 
Uh, let's see. Oh, same thing with computer security groups. And then w, any WMI filtering that we want to use, what if we engaged that for users and for computers, and then summarizes all of our selections. Now, if you just want to say, what if the user connected to this computer, then you can just stop at that first page. But then this gives us a lot of abilities uh, to model different scenarios. What if we had Danny and Cannon log in into this computer, but what if we added him to this group or put him in this OU or had the computer be in a different OU? And so it gives us a lot of ability to see what would theoretically happen. Anyway, we click Next, and that's going to build a, res a result for us. And again, it's going to store the result just like we did the group policy results. And it's going to give us the exact same breakdown. So, summary information, computer details, both general and component status, our settings that we would be subject to, which GPOs were applied, which GPOs were denied, any WMI filters that were engaged, and then same thing for our user details. General information, component status, all of our settings, and here notice we've uh, set a couple of settings already. And one of the things I want to show you here, this shows us what's actually applied. And so we see the policy. So under Policies, Administrative Templates, Control Panel, there's a policy that says Prohibit Access to Control Panel and PC Settings. This is currently enabled, and this right here is a big thing when we're troubleshooting who is the winning GPO. And what we mean by that is what GPO applied this setting. Now remember, if multiple GPOs have different settings, the last one applied wins. So this tells us what was the last one that was applied. Where did this setting actually get applied from? And that's great information when you're troubleshooting GPOs. And then down below it, applied GPOs and denied GPOs. Now normally a GPO is going to be denied based on security filtering. So this lets you see if there is a GPO that should have been applied that for some reason wasn't. I expected this to be different because of a different GPO. I can look down here and say, was that GPO denied? If it was, then I know why it wasn't applied. If it was an applied GPO, then it may have applied in a different order than I wanted to, which is why this one won instead of the one that I wanted. So that's some of the ways that we will use the group policy modeling. And remember, because it's a theoretical modeling, I can model group policy information based on things that haven't happened yet. So Danny Kincannon doesn't have to log in here for me to be able to see what he gets. And this lets me preemptively troubleshoot or verify that my policies that are in place are the ones that I actually want to be in place before the user ever steps onto the network and logs in. All right. So a couple of great tools for modeling, testing, and troubleshooting uh, group policy application.